awkward elevator silences. They're so awkward. It's like that in real life. <laughs> sure is taking a while. Mm-hmm. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm stuck in an elevator with the Messiah and also literally God himself. This is awkward. <laughs> Oh, maybe we can chat to pass the time then. You heard me? <laughs> I mean, sure. I thought that was in my head, but I guess this kid can read my thoughts. <laughs> All right, ASDF Gaming, should I... Resume awkward silence. Hello, everyone. My name is ASDF, and welcome back to One Shot. Now, we just got to the elevator, I think. It's been a little bit. It's 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 been a while. So, let's let's jump in here. Oh, big old sack of pancakes. Oh, he's so happy eating his pancakes. Oh. SDF gaming? I had another dream. Mama was there. Did you see her? Yes. She made me pancakes. I think it was my birthday. These people always get their favorite food on their birthday. A whole lot of it. Until you're an adult. Then you can't eat a lot of your favorite food. Do you have a birthday too? Yes. I am the god of this world, but I am but a man. Oh, then what's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? Wait, do you like pancakes? I like pancakes. Me too! On my last birthday, I ate 10 of them. That's a lot of pancakes. <laughs> I was so full, I didn't eat anything else that day. My mama makes the best pancakes, and some of the neighbors make really good noodles. Oh, and one of our neighbors makes a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? Yes. Oh, do they share their food with you? Uh, friends do, but neighbors don't. We're not that close with our neighbors. That's not very nice of them. <laughs> our neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the whole village every day. Everyone also takes turns doing chores and watching the little kids. I don't need to be watched anymore, though. I'm old enough to help out. I miss everyone. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. Oh, speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. Wow, that, that sounds like what our church does. Our church is always people jumping in to feed each other and help each other. Oh, hey, welcome back. That uh, sure took you a while, huh? Oh, shoot, you've been waiting this whole time? And holding the door open? Well, I, I didn't want to be rude. Sorry, I should have told you to go on ahead. Uh, don't worry about it. The guy was just standing there. I'm like, I'm going to go take a nap. He's like, okay. I'm going to wait for you. Awkward elevator silences. They're so awkward. It's like that in real life. Sure is taking a while. Mm-hmm. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm stuck in an elevator with the Messiah and also literally God himself. This is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe we can chat to pass the time then. You heard me? <laughs> I mean, sure. I thought that was in my head, but I guess this kid can read my thoughts. <laughs> All right, ASDF Gaming, should I... Resume awkward silence. Be awkward, yes. This is amazing. I love this so much. It's just like a real elevator ride. Always be more awkward, that's right. Oh man, how you guys doing? Happy Tuesday. Um, I think you guys both had the day off yesterday, right? I know Pink Ninja did. I was pretty sure Yoshi did. Because y'all are in, in the States here. Alright, okay, here we go. Anyway, it was nice meeting you, uh... Nico! Right. See you around, kid. Gotta run now. <laughs> He's like, ah, it was so aw Oh, you have the whole month off. That's right. Okay. I forgot, man. We exchanged so many words this weekend. He seems in a hurry. I guess we better hurry too, ASDF Gaming. People are counting on us. Let's go find that library. Library? I guess we're looking for a library. You're pretending to be European. Yeah. Beep boop. Beep boop. Hey, shady guy, standing in the corner. Ah, <sighs> you alright? Ah, oh, the Messiah. Perhaps this is a sign. Tell me, do you think you can fix the world with the sun? Honestly, I don't know. I've been getting mixed messages. 
I know. Oh, but what do you think? I, I think... I think I should listen to ASDF Gaming. After all, ASDF Gaming helped me get this far. I will let you take your faith for an answer then. What do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. All right, wishy-washy guy who doesn't say anything. It's not, it's definitely a pet peeve of mine when people like speak, but they don't actually say anything. Or you ask them a question and they don't answer it. They spend a lot of words not answering the question. Huge pet peeve. I'm like, come on, just get to it. Let's go. I just have this feeling that I want to go south as much as possible. You know, you ever get that feeling? It's locked from the inside. Ah, oh, we went the wrong way. But that's how it goes, I guess. Sometimes you gotta go the right way to figure out the... Sometimes you gotta go the wrong way to figure out the right way. Hello, person. The library is up ahead. Thanks. Oh, guess we made it to the library. A pile of books on the ground. Some sort of plaque. What? What? I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you are in a library. There's books in the library. Um, go bug the chatty one upstairs. Okay, he was kind of angry. Oh, hello, do you need directions? Let's see, this area here is mostly historical accounts. The reference section is downstairs and uh, I'm not sure where the children's section is, sorry. That's okay. That's okay, I'm not really looking for books. Oh, are you, are you here to look for the author then? No? Oh, that's good. I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months and I've never seen him, not even once. He works together with the head librarian on publishing, so you'd think he would at least show up once in a while. But he doesn't? Yeah, he seems kind of reclusive, which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe it's just around people. Or he's just traveling the world at the moment. A computer, it's it's currently off. Alright, let's talk to you. The author's uh oh. The author's books cover a wide range of topics. It seems there's no subjects he does not write about. Quite the Renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. But he's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. Oh? They say this city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon these books may be the only thing we remember the rest of the world by. Ah. Well that's kinda depressing. Nice view though. Hmm. Hmm. Anyone else? Oh. Yep, still scared of ladders. Hello, person. Hi. Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. <laughs> okay, another off computer. Nothing that looks like we could get into the bookshelves. Oh, hi. The author is so cool. I heard he can travel all over the world with a flying machine. That's how he gathers materials for his books. Wow. Does everyone need a unique voice here? Oh, another clover book. Can I get to it? A big book with a black clover on the cover. The title says Emergence of New Ecological Niches in a Post-Sun World. Okay. A phosphor shrimp. Common firefly. I can't take it, though. There's a few books that are glowing. A big book with a black clover on the cover. The title says A Comprehensive Guide to Phosphors. As a general rule, if a phosphor loses its glow entirely, can't be relit unless exposed to the sun. If the phosphor is merely dim, it may be possible to boost it through exposure to another phosphor of higher energy. Even so, the boosted phosphor will never return to its original brightness. Out of the th you know what, we're going to come back to this if we think that we need to learn about green and red phosphors. But if we don't think, we're, we're not going to. You're going through these pages pretty fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. Oh? Yeah, the author doesn't only write books, he also illustrates them. Sometimes he makes books out of only pictures. Neat! <laughs> That's cool. A little plant in the corner, too. The author publishes books at a highly accelerated, almost inhumane pace. In fact, he spent out more books in one year than most authors do in their lifetime. According to the head librarian, there's still a large amount of material he's written, but not yet published. One cannot help but wonder where he can get so much done in so little time. I did the calculations, and the numbers simply do not add up. Maybe he can stop time? No such mechanism exists in this world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? Nah, I just saw it in a movie once. About superheroes and stuff. <laughs> so what do you think about the author? I... don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. If not, you should. 
The author's latest books are really something, yeah? The head librarian just reached a bunch, released a bunch last week. Oh? They're big compendiums. You'll see them if you look around. Kind of different from his earlier works, though. I'm used to reading his travel logs and novels, mostly. Wow. Does a lot of writing, I suppose. There's so many people to talk to in here. Oh, hey. Um, what are you doing to that book? Don't worry, these are my own books that I wrote. Just pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections. Most sections. Uh, how come? Because otherwise they'll think I copied him. Him? The author. I mean, I don't really see the point of writing anything anymore. The author's just going to write about the same thing and then everyone will love it. Nobody's going to remember the books that came out before his. Oh, what if the author is just plagiarizing every other book from around the world because it's been destroyed? I mean, I ain't hating. I can see why people go nuts over his stuff. That guy's got major talent, but it just hurts, you know? It's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. Dude, that's the worst. I can see that. People call me a cat all the time, even though I'm a person and cats are pets and Mausers. I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. <laughs> then I guess we're in the same boat, kiddo. Oh, poor guy. Imagine you spent all this time writing books. Excuse me. Oh, you are the Messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot only said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. George the head librarian lady. I feel like I have a bug bite on my face. That's so annoying. Let me guess. No answer. No answer indeed. She is not picking up. Is she not here? She's here. She's in the archival room upstairs. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls for several days. Yikes. I love his- I love Nico's little worried face. Can you go to her in person then? Leaving this post is not in my programming. Then can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha, thanks. I'm on my third cup. I can't feel my limbs. <laughs> um, but I have to stay awake! I need to find out how this book ends! Dude, that's how I feel. I stay up reading till like 2 a.m. a lot of nights. Curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers! Yeah, ASDF every day. I'm on my third cup, but I just need to know how this book ends. Come on. Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library card required for further access. I don't have a library card, though. Oh, where can I get one? There's a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Oh my goodness, please no. Just stop with the calling. Oh, I'm drinking coffee. This is my second cup of the day. I ain't waiting around for this. Oh, it's making me wait around for this. She's not picking up. I figured. Are you sure you can't just let me through? Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. Uh, even in an emergency? My programming is not flexible. I have not been tamed. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try my best not to attempt to enter from the other side. Ooh, coffee. A coffee machine. It's almost empty. Coffee's for grown-ups. Coffee is for grown-ups. Okay, well, I didn't see anything in here that would give us a library card. We talked to everybody that we could. So, I suppose we'll keep talking to other people. When the world ends, would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. Yeah, I think so too. I think I'd rather just... Boom. Because then you don't feel the pain of losing your existence. You just don't exist. I don't think that's how the world will end, but that's, I mean, I would prefer that. Okay, let's go up the way that we should have probably gone first, and it would have given us a library card, and then we would have been like, what the heck do we need this library card for? Actually, no, let me go here. Is that a smurf? Evening news, evening news! Are you here to purchase a copy? No, newspapers are for grown-ups. Grown-ups? 
Yeah. What does that mean? It means people who aren't kids. Kids? Or aren't you a kid? I am a robot. Right. <laughs> Silly Nico. Robots are robots. Doesn't matter what they look like on the outside. Um, excuse me? SDF Gaming, did you see what happened? Yeah? My vision went blank for a second, and then I saw something. Like a really short dream. I wonder what that was about. Like a vision? Let's go straight. Let's go down. It's strangely warm in this- Oh, look at all the cats! Yes! I love it! Cats in a furnace robot! They love him! Oh, it's so cute! Oh, listen to the cats! That one's purring! Oh, That's so cute! I love that! It was a cat, just saying. Yeah, it's a faded flyer. Another faded flyer? It's a faded flyer. There was a way to go up. Oh, that's a secret door. A curious marking on the wall. It looks like a ram? Uh, that's a secret door. We just gotta figure out how to open it. Maybe Furnace Guy can bash it open for us. Okay, we can go down there. Let's go down there. Up there? Up there. There's some big plastic discs in here. It looks like they're supposed to go in something. Wait, Ace Day of Gaming, are we really gonna take these with us? But they look so heavy. Alright. Hey, they're actually pretty light. Yeah, it's a big book. The title says Understanding Robots. Oh, he doesn't try to read it. A lantern plant. There's a note attached. It says, Thank you for working so hard, Mr. Lamplighter. A framed photo of someone. An empty glass jar. The handle on this one looks broken. A jar full of red glowing fluid. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here. So, we got glass discs. That we, we need to keep an eye out for how we can maybe use those. Hey kid, want some soup dumplings? They're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproducts. I'll pass. Okay, same thing. This smells kind of nice. What is it? Breaded fish. I toasted the bread myself. I see. He stuck the bread in his head and toasted it himself. Are you here for your photos? No. Alrighty then. I'll just, uh, stand here. This stand smells a bit like burnt sugar. Yep, still getting the hang of making these fried candy skewers. They don't taste too bad though. Do you want one? Yeah, it's okay, thank you. Hey, hey, ready for me to blow your mind? Yes! Okay, so I invented a medicine to prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. All you gotta do is dissolve one of these pills in water, and then you drink the water. And then you never need to drink water again. What? It also makes plants grow faster. What? How does it work? Well, here, why don't you take a free sample? Oh, thanks? Don't thank me, go spread the word. We need to put that, we need to, we need, hang on. We need to combine, combine, oh, they're lenses. We need to put the water pill in the tube of water. And then we need to go pour that on the plant girl. It dissolved really fast. Yeah, 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 okay. We'll get, we'll get through this area and then we'll go put that back on the plant girl. Cause then she'll never need to drink water again. Oh, this one's open. Oh, this looks like a furnace. I do not want to be in here. This, this looks dangerous. This is like, I'm getting Bowser's Castle vibes right now. Which, you know, Bowser's Castle is cool and all, but... Oh, a secret? Oh no, just go around, okay. Not a, not a secret then. I feel like this is where we're supposed to be going. Maybe I should have gone and watered Plant Girl first. Looks like I can unlock this door. Oh good, this, okay, so this goes back to the start area. So we can kind of take a shortcut through that way. Although it's not really a shortcut, it's like a long cut. But maybe if something happens and the area gets closed off, now we can go back through. You know, if there's some kind of corruption or something. Okay, let's see if we can go up. We can. Cool. 
just going on up to the top of the world again. Don't mind me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what did he say mm-hmm to? What was that? Interesting. Okay, let's let's equip that thing. Uh, it's up, right? And then to the left. Yeah, we remember these things. We know. We know where we're going. What's up, Mr. Big Robot Guy? I found the library, and the stupid non-tamed robot on the inside needs me to get a library card, and I don't know how to get one. So, but I got this fancy water. Good thinking, ASDF Gaming. This water should really help the seed grow. It sprouted a tiny leaf! Oh, it's cute. Good luck, little plant. Okay, so that thing's growing now. So we can just leave it, and it won't need water ever again, and it helps plants grow faster, so... That should be good. All we gotta do now is figure out how to get a library card. There's so many areas we haven't explored in the new zone though, the, the, the base of the city. So, I'm not concerned. I'll need to push the button to open the doors. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Nico. Good on ya. Good on ya. Hmm. You guys ever just really need a cup of coffee and you have one and you drink it and it's amazing? Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm not even a huge fan of this coffee. It's ite. It's not really my desired profile, but you could use some coffee, Pink Ninja. Uh, you should take a break, go get some coffee. Go get go get a pumpkin spice cold foam, cold cold brew. Oh, that um we've been that way. We need to go up. Ronnie's Ronnie looks like she could use some coffee. Okay, let's go this way this time and see what's over here. Stairs? Oh. Please do not, do not just approach. Oh boy. Oh. Whoa, ASDF Gaming, did you see that fox just now? It just ran behind the tree. Am I gonna chase this fox all over the city? Oh. I'm sorry if you're looking for me, but I cannot talk to you. Not now. Um. But can you promise me something? Huh? If you can find a way to return, please do. Or what do you mean by that? No reply. There's no one here. Oh, interesting. You're meeting a friend after work at a coffee place. You're just trying to hold out. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I needed more coffee. The more meetings I have, the more coffee I go through in a given day. Okay, well, the medicated water really helped. And the oh, I see this guy now. Hey, you looking for something? Yeah, I need to find a library card now. Any idea where I can get one? From the library? I tried that already. The person in charge wasn't here. Oh, uh... Maybe check out the factory? You can just take the stairs at the end of the street and make a turn. There's a lot of scientists there. Scientists read books, right? They might help you. Okay, thanks. Thanks, buddy boy. End of this street. I'll take the sidewalk. End of this street right here. And then go up the stairs and take a turn. Um, down the stairs and then take a turn. Is it this way maybe that I needed to go? That I didn't? Yeah, I didn't go this way before. Oh, music change. There's a few different buildings to go in here. I'm gonna start with the left one. The luminescence index of liquid red phosphor decreased by a factor of 3.57 this past week. Alarming to say the least, that's the sharpest decline I've seen and the number is only increasing. I will have to further concentrate the phosphor now for it to be of any use. It's hard to believe, but there's a good chance the city could run out of light in as little as six months. What are we going to do? What if I give him the light bulb? If the city runs out of light, well, I don't want to think what happens then. Bunch of words are on the screen, I don't understand any of it. Okay, we should be in the one on the right now. 
In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. The... Huh? You must change the color of the lights into a specific configuration. Allow me. Okay, I don't know what configuration I need for that. It may help you to go one color at a time. Management. Big metal box, lots of machinery inside. This one has a robot in it. Beep boop. This is the printer room where machine parts are made. Also robots. Can also help you to write down the previous attempts, management. If all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe you'll get an easier one next time. Okay, so those are the three clues for the light puzzle. So... How many colors are there? Two, three, four, five... Uh, one, two, three, four. So try the colors one at a time. One light's correct, access denied. Okay, so there's a blue one. Two lights correct, access denied, eight tries left. Two greens and a blue. One light's correct, two greens, a blue, and a red. And a yellow. Two greens, a blue, a red, and a yellow. So let's just put them in the spots. Two greens, a blue, a red, and a yellow. Zero lights correct. Okay, so the greens can't be on the left. One lights correct. Okay, so the greens are here. And we have a blue, a yellow, and a red, right? Two lights correct. Access denied, four tries left. Okay, uh... Five lights correct, access granted. There we go, hey, hey, we did a puzzle. Look at that, we did a mini game, everybody. I didn't even goof it up. Oh. My robot! What happened? I don't know, I left for a minute and, uh, oh, poor guy. His robot's spazzing. I think that it's very uh, politically incorrect to say the word spazzing these days. I don't know if you guys saw the video from Lizzo where she had to apologize for... Now Lizzo's songs ha are just full of filth. And then, you know, she said something something like a spaz. And then everybody like told her she needed to apologize for it. And then she changed the song lyrics. And now the song is full of f filth, but not the word spaz. Monitoring, monitoring. Oh, these particles just took two of my robots in the glen. Might have to put off the water analysis project for now. Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. Picking up some more disruptions in Sector 8 of the city. This is consistent with our earlier findings. Not good at all. Hey, would you guys stop being depressed for a minute? Hmm, I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. None of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. A square of particles took out a few of my robots last week and... She fell asleep. I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? Heal you. These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from the square particle anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. But if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. But not before taking away one of the robot's arms or legs or head. Okay. This one isn't active. This is so tedious. I miss the good old days before a robot repairing robots broke down. Now the robots have to be assembled by actual people. <laughs> but aren't you a robot? No. I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really. But your head is a TV? What, what does that have to do with anything? Never mind. Head's a TV. Okay, let's keep going in the factory. Uh, let's talk to this guy. I cannot stop spinning. Oh. Okay, you did long enough to talk to me. Hello? Oh, shoot! If I had known you'd be here so soon, I would have turned off the darn lock. Hello there. 
Sorry about the weird security measures. That's okay. SDF Gaming helped me solve it. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Yeah, uh, yeah, do you, you know how I could get a library card? A library card? You have to ask the library for that. I tried, I need, I need to see the head librarian, but I can't get this here without a library card. But at the same time, she's the one who gives out library cards. Really? Yeah, <laughs> that sounds like George, all right. Uh, I'm sorry you caught her on a bad day. Ah, uh, wait, I know. I can just give you my library card. It won't be hard for me to get another one. <laughs> wow, thanks. There, you're all set, I think. Wait, shoot. I forgot the front desk library bots have facial recognition. And my photo on the card won't match you. Unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. Um, <laughs> that was a joke. Who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. Okay. Something's poking out from the shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Never know when you need to glitter things up, right? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. Okay, we need to find a place to take a picture. Hey, ASDF Gaming? Doesn't that lady look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. I almost want to ask her about it, should I? Dude, you should. We still have the amber in our inventory. Oh! That, that's... How did you get this? The robot lady in the Barons gave it to me. She looked kinda like you. I see. Uh, it's supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? I haven't based her on myself, so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? I wanted to build a robot that acts like a person, thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh! But it turns out you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, tell you what. Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. Uh, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through his own means. A real miracle worker that... After he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted, but the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. Now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that amber, okay? I will. Oh, okay, interesting. We need to find somewhere to take a picture. Who can take a picture of us? Did we pass by someone with a camera for our head? Was there anybody with a camera? I don't know. We need a picture in our inventory somehow. So... And I haven't seen a computer yet. Not that guy, probably not her. Pro oh, him maybe? Her? Are you here for your photos? Actually, yeah! I need to take a picture for reasons! Well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is the photo center is right behind me. The bad news is that it doesn't work, right? Hey, you're catching on quick. After operations ended in the Barrens, this place got shut down. All the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. <gasps> Maybe ASDNF game- <laughs> I can figure it out from them. Can't even say my own name anymore. That's good. It would certainly help out people with expired IDs like me. Aww. Alright, let's figure it out. You used to be one of the camera engineers, right? The camera? Oh, joyous memories, we went through thick and thin together, and by that, I mean the concave lens did. Okay, the concave lens goes between thick and thin. Can you tell me how to fix the camera? Hmm, it's been a while. Pretty sure the bulgy one goes on one of the ends, but I forget which. Let me look at them. Okay. The con... I need to take notes. I don't have a pen and paper. Bulgy one goes on the end. Concave lens goes between thick and thin. Concave lens goes between thick and thin. So concave goes between thick and thin. And the convex goes on the edge. Is there anything you remember about how to work the camera? Let me 
me see, when arranging the lenses, make sure that the thin lens is positioned between the two curved ones. Okay, now we know what order they go in, we just need to know which direction they go. Can you tell me how to get the camera working again? Yes, yes, certainly. The thick lens should be positioned to the left of both of the curved lenses. Thick lens goes to the left of both curved lenses. So thick lens is all the way on the left. Convex is all the way on the right. And then concave. So thick, concave, thin, convex. Thick. Concave. Oop. Oh, concave, and then thin. Come on, buttons. There's only four buttons, and I seem to press wrong ones all the time. Kaboom! Uh, cheese? Ah, oh, my eyes! That's a big old Polaroid right there. It's a photo of me! My eyes always this big? <laughs> Maybe he has bigger eyes when he moved over to this universe, because it didn't look like his mom had that big of eyes. And then in his dreamlike state, even has been altered in this universe so that he and his dreams have big eyes. Okay, let's combine the photo with the glue. The back of the photo is covered in glue and, and glitter. And then photo of Nico Sticky in the library card. Card has my face on it now. <laughs> Kip's library card. Okay, great. That was, uh, that was easy. So let's just head on back down. Oh. We'll go this way. I think this way is faster. The other way is like, there's only one way to go through there, but I think going through the alleys will be faster. Could be wrong. You know, let's equip the library card before I forget. And then... We still haven't figured out what to do with the cats. We might need the cats for something. The cats and the furnace guy? I mean, they're just so cute. I love the time that the cat was purring. Okay, I think this is the library, right? No, oh, hi. Oh, hey there. You have a lot of fish. Yeah, I'm worried about them. Oh? I heard something about how the score particle stuff just took out a major pipeline. Guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. That's, that's true. Okay. Oh, library's down this way? Right? I'm lost. I have no idea where I'm going. I think the library's down this way. Oh, you know what? I thought this was going to be the last episode, but maybe not. Okay, let me talk to the guy first. No, I'm just going to go in. Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. I know, I know. Oh, okay, but I have my card. Authenticating barcode. Executing facial recognition. Photo match. Successful. You're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Maybe I should have changed the name. <laughs> nah, we're Miss Kip. Like mischief, but Kip. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Looks like an old phone. It's full. There's a plant. There's another plant. All right, let's go. Let's go meet the head librarian. Hey, little fella. Hello. So you're gonna like save the world and stuff. Didn't think she had the little little finger guns I've been doing the whole time. Didn't think I'd run into you, but now I did. Hey. Um. Thanks. So like, what up? Can I get you anything? Yeah, I heard you can help me. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do now. I think I'm supposed to go into the tower, but how do I do that? You don't. At least. We don't. The tower's only got one teeny tiny room in it. It ain't even got no stairs. I'm just adding words. <laughs> oh, I bet you need ASTF Gaming's help on this one, pal. Exactly how? I don't know. But I bet you anything that sort of knowledge is in some mystery book somewhere. Nothing in my collection fits the description, though. Ah, oh. this book is poking out from the shelf. The rest of the books have clovers. That's just what the author, he just uses the symbol. Oh, the clover symbol. He wrote all the books. Books poking out. Screenshot of some sort. Book is poking out. Hey, I think it's actually all clovers. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, oh, those are manuscripts the author gave me. I'm supposed to like help him publish and stuff, but he hasn't shown me around these parts lately. 
That's like throwing off my groove, man. Like, I used, I'm used to him sending me new stuff all the time. Of course, I can't keep up with the pace that he's writing, but he don't mind. Guy's just totally passionate about his job. Makes me want to work hard, too. So I do. I've been playing catch up with the stuff I haven't gotten to finish yet. But you know what's weird? What? Stuff I'm supposed to finish don't get finished. Like, I've put out book after book, but the work pile don't get any smaller. Have I really been slacking that much? Okay, what if I give the clover book... Oops. To her. Oh, I do have this book. Yo. Yo. Where did you find this? Somewhere in the barrens. Because that's... Got that symbol and everything. Here, let me read it. Oh, seriously? He even used that language? I gotta translate this, man. Mind if I borrow this? Not at all. Sweet. It's gonna take a while, though. You cool with that? That's fine. Oh, excuse me. Whoa, dude, you look whipped, kiddo. Huh? You look totally tapped out, dude. I look... What? You look like you're ready to take five, bruh. Yeah, I don't get it. Don't worry, I gotcha. I got a guest room in the attic down the hall. You wanna crash there? Go for it. Well, that's perfect, because then Nico can have a dream. I can commune with... Uh... I was going to say I can commune with the computer, but that's not it. A book on the ground. Something about multiverse theory and where the die lands, spitting off into branches. Thank you guys for watching. If you're catching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And comment down below what you think of the series so far. It's one or two clicks for you, but it really helps me out a ton. And as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.